So for instance, you buy me a gift and then you wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty, don't laugh. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, you always a loyal one. So today, we've got Mrs. Ree. On to the eat. Don't forget though. On to the A to the B E T. Don't forget the S W E. It's Ria. That's way. That's me. I think Hello. maybe that's why someone said you're animated. Cause what is that? I never forget that comment. <laughs> like, animated. Who, who has a cheer for their name? The but it's spelled wrong, so I have to think yeah, of another cheer. R to the A. <laughs> okay. R E A. So we are doing. We're gonna play a game called Sip or Spoon. You know because whoo, I'm so nervous. But you're gonna get to know us on a different level. Yana, you know, we're going to reveal a little bit more. So, backstory I personally don't drink, right? I have nothing against alcohol. Everybody in my life drinks, except for me. And the reason is alcohol, I am an artist, guys. Like, let's be honest, that wearing medium demo is not nice. And I just can't pretend that I enjoy this thing when it's not nice. So, I've tried everything, like I've tasted everything, but the only thing that so far in my 27, mm -hmm. six years of life that I've managed to like, I don't like it, but I can stomach it. It doesn't have that alcohol taste. Is Jaeger Monster the only shots I can take? Mm -hmm. I don't take no vodka shots, no tequila shots. Ew. Yeah, I know. I've tried all of that as well, like it's disgusting. But I can stomach Jaeger Monster. So because of that, we are not gonna play super spool. Um, if you don't wanna answer a question, you're gonna say it. And if you wanna answer, you can answer. But we're gonna try and keep it PG, not too. You know? I don't know any of these questions. Yeah, Ria yeah, hasn't seen any of this. Who do you think is the Beyonce of the group? Our group. Mm. Me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that can sign. Literally, <laughs> Ria calls herself the Beyonce of the group. Like, she's the Beyonce of the group. So, are you also supposed to answer? Or there's yeah. a question for me? No, it's a question both, for both of us. us. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's definitely her. I don't know if it would be offensive, though. Like, for other people, like if other people were here that are part of the squad, to say that somebody else is the Beyonce of the group. But it's we just, call I'm a really Beyonce big Beyonce, Beyonce fan, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I know her lyrics back to front, the new, the old age Beyonce, not this ape shit Beyonce. No, ape not that one. Yeah. So Rhea is the Beyonce of the group. What's the most illegal thing you've done? <laughs> What's illegal? I have gotten a ticket for speeding. That's the most, like, most illegal, most illegal thing. Mm -hmm. Like, you could go to jail. Yeah, for like, it. but there's levels. I feel like getting a ticket. I've done something bad, and I don't know if I want to say it. <laughs> on You've done care. something illegal. Wow, you're shocked. The I'm shocked. Thing. I don't, I can't think of anything illegal I've done. I'm walking around with criminals. Why, why did you almost get scammed the other day? You were doing illegal shit. <laughs> no, that, that won't take you that to jail. That is the most illegal thing I've done. Friend, that would. They'll take me to jail for that. I don't know. It's like illegal. The fact that I'm entertaining them. I don't know. Isn't it stealing? I'm not the one stealing though. They are. But you are. Uh, by Vitan, what's that C word? Um, you, 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 Accomplice. You, uh, I don't want. I'm not gonna answer that one. I'm gonna take a shot. I don't. I don't got like a big illegal thing. Man. Then you're gonna take a shot. So take your shot. If I don't have anything illegal, if you don't have an answer. You can't not answer. Yeah. Name so low. Clink clink. Bishies. Oh my god. If you don't have answers now, I just go. Really no, that's good. really how it works. Wow. You can't not answer. Mm. Mm. 
No ways. Corona dead instantly. Yes. Okay, Wendley. Mm -hmm. mm. I take it back. The only thing I can stomach is Yega. Boom. Not a shot of Yega Master. Okay, so. A woman that cheers. More. Have you ever cheated? Ash. <coughs> no, because she just put the wind bull. <laughs> Um, I feel like <laughs> if I drink, I'm saying yes, I have because I don't want to say so. I might as well. I have, guys. You've cheated. Oh, no. Uh uh. <laughs> Long time in my days. Like, I don't remember you cheating on nobody. It was like high school stuff, though. Oh, okay. I've never cheated. Yeah, she'll cut your ass if you cheat on her. <laughs> it's like the first one. Like the first one is don't cheat on me, okay? Don't do it. Don't do it. Quite simple, right? Rule number one. But I've never cheated. Okay, well, would you date a girl? Yes. No. Strictly dickly. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. I just feel. Don't shut it till you try it. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely strictly dickly, but I'd definitely kiss a girl if she came on to me. Just to know what it feels like, you know? Just to know. I don't think it changed I'd change my sexual preference. Preference. But I definitely want to try to see. You know, they say they say don't judge if you haven't tried it, you mm -hmm. know? So I definitely don't look until you tried it. Mm -hmm. So you would date a girl. Yes. Woo. Guys, I don't like saying never, but uh, oof, mm -mm. not for you. Sorry. Have you ever been cheated on? Yes, child. I have. I don't think anyone so can die. Like... I was still in high school. <laughs> in your grown up age, you've never been cheated on. No, I haven't found out. Really. Yeah, so I was about to say that you can't really confidently say I've never been cheated on because you know, men. Men are quite embarrass embarrassing. They are embarrassing. Like, you can never say confidently that I have never been cheated on. Maybe you didn't find out. Yeah. So, same. I, yes. I don't know. Maybe I have. But I feel like I've been cheated on, even though we had broken up, but we were trying to fix things. And then. You found like there was someone there. There was someone there. Who did? Found out. And that. <laughs> You don't know the story? You know the story. Yeah. That must have not rubbed you the right way. No, we did not. No, you okay. broke me, child. Don't you know the story? Okay, alright. Okay. Yeah, so. I mean, I guess we could see. I don't know, half, half and half. <laughs> Um, the next question, Woo! what's your body count? Oh, hell no! For me to yank a child, for me to yank It's how quickly you went to grab that drink for me. <laughs> no, guys. But I could answer. I mean, let me think if I want to answer or not. Hey, Marno, man, this is the internet. Don't answer. <laughs> Don't answer. Don't answer, right? <laughs> it's always a trick question. Okay, no, I'm not. But apparently, I heard guys, they have a rule, yeah. Whatever number she gives you, you must just times it by three. Ah! I heard it on J. Cole's song as well. Mm. Three, um, yeah, but whatever body count a girl gives you, you must times it by three. That's no way, <laughs> that's a lie. Don't do that. Mm. Oh, I, mm. I'm ready. I'm done with this game. Mm. Oh. Mm -mm. Okay, that was that question. How many exes do you have? Personally and now Personally Serious, serious boyfriends I have childhood friends <laughs> 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 Oh my god, no exes 
I'd say serious, serious, serious boyfriends. Like, true. like after high school, after varsity, serious. No, after high school. High school, I bye bye. Yeah. Okay. Oh, actually, the one is from varsity there. Yeah, two. You got two exes? Yeah. The serious relationships. I only have two exes. Like we dated. Like Tawala. we dated. We were intentional about it. Mm. Nobody ghosted nobody. In Genuine English. things. It's two. How many exes do I have after high school? Yeah, it's two. I also have two. The rest don't come. Yeah, I bet. Try high school end. barely. Leave even now, but before 25, don't. If we dated before 25, we're childhood friends, so that's where I'm coming from. <laughs> but if I have to give an answer, I'll say it's two. I have two exes, yeah. I got two exes. Okay. <sighs> mm. Have you ever had a pregnancy scare? Yes, yes, I have. Have you? I'm not take a shot. <laughs> yes, I have, guys. That's why I'm at this age and I'm not pregnant because I ain't trying to make that mistake again. <laughs> not more than once. Nope. The most stressful thing in life. <laughs> <laughs> so this means like we don't know if you have or if you haven't. Mm -hmm. What the hell is that? I think I prefer this as a Jaeger bomb. She missing out, y'all. Maybe we should go like Jwala tasting so we can find the kind of alcohol you like. But when you don't like the alcoholic taste in the drinks. Mm -hmm. The Jaeger Meister doesn't have that component that I don't like. But, ooh. Hey man, the level is strong. Yes, I feel dizzy. <laughs> oh, for the faint hearted girl. Ah, we're not done. We're not done. Don't no, worry, I'll take care of you after this. You'll be fine. You'll drink some water. But you see, mixing with red pills, so it's gonna work. Okay. Uh, worst date you've been on? <clears throat> the worst date I've been on was this guy propelled me. Actually, I'm very mouthy. Why am I so open? <laughs> Why is it? This guy, <clears throat> Papela, me, me, Keshav. Already, I met him halfway <laughs> with where we were going, right? We we're going to Empress. Mm -hmm. So he didn't pick me up. You know, I already made it easy for him. Took myself there, met up, went to some weird ass restaurant called Emperor's Palace. Uh huh. And then. Oh, I have another drink here, guys. He done made me pay half my bill. That's the worst date I've been on. Okay, but how was everything else? Like the conversation? He was not funny, even though he tried to be. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's not my type of funny. But he was very, like... He was not funny. He was not funny, you know? He had booty, did you know? But he was very handsome. But it was the worst date because first of all, I went out my way to get myself there, which you shouldn't. <clears throat> and then this was a first date. It was a first and last, mm. right? Then when I got there, how me ordering my life away? I mean, I didn't order anything hectic. So you propelled me already. I am half. I met you there. You didn't have to pick me up. You don't have to take me home. Then you're gonna make me pay half my bill. And you must still take yourself home. And I must still take myself Ooh, home. Uh, no. Prima. I was like, wow. But because I was just like, fine. But you had a car. Mm. So I was like, fine. Mm. He went in and paid my side. And that was the last time I spoke to him. And you have to pay a parking ticket on top of that. Ooh, my rabashimani. Like on puppet, you asked me out. You you took me out of my comfort zone and I at least met you halfway. And then you're gonna be he even took out the bill. He was just like Hi Bo. Right, so yours is no hundred rand. <laughs> this is like this is happening. This is really happening. 
But okay. I swipe a half of it. I swipe a half in not on attempt to be like, no, you I was just like this is definitely the last time I'm seeing mm. you. Never it was a great again. restaurant. At least I know where to come in the future. But that's it. Just not done and you. dusted. What's your worst thing? Oh my god. Uh, you know. Oh. Mm. No. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, 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 mm. I don't even want to talk about it. Ooh, this man. <laughs> hey! This man is taking. You're going to watch it and be like, that's me! Watch it. That's me! <laughs> Let me tell you. He's so controlling. Like, he is. So controlling. possessive like he he made me realize that guys when it comes to GBV the signs are always there. Like the signs are always there. Like you see them. Like everything he has done, I'm like the sign and the signs the signs were there. Or possessive if he wants to know where I am. Like okay, we had our date situation and he told me that if we're dating and I go out with my friends to like the club and he finds me there like coincidentally I don't tell him that I'm there and he finds me there Then I'm going home with him if like we're, in, we're, we're together so It doesn't matter what arrangements I've made doesn't matter how I got there matter I'm going home with it sounded cute at the time. It did. <laughs> it sounded cute because like, oh, he being a man. You know, like, you know, he gonna take you home because you're his girl. But, mm -mm. but yeah, no. Mm -mm. He's crazy. Like he even cussed me out. Finally, wait, what's like a drink? Sorry. My bad. He cussed me out. And he went. He popped off on me because I wouldn't tell him where I'm at, and I didn't want to go to see him. This is after our date. Ooh. Andres, I'm shmani. I'm gonna angiva, angiva, angiva. I'm just the way getting disrespectful. <laughs> I'm like okay, but yeah, no, that's the worst date I've been on. But like to be quite honest, like I've been on pretty good dates. Eh? Like I can't really say like I've been on a worst date. Like it was just him, and the date wasn't even bad. Like he cooked for me like he proper cooked for me um Brayla and i love brian meat you know like mm -hmm. why are you looking at me like <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm just i'm listening i'm listening with everyone else like i'm just <laughs> saying that the date wasn't so bad but he as a person was terrible like he's a terrible person wahafa just like read the signs Read the signs. Leave. Red flag. Leave. The signs are leave, guys. Leave. We are too old now to be settling for red flags. <clears throat> What's your toxic trait? I recently discovered this, and I I fixed it too. It's no more. It's no longer a toxic trait because I fixed it, and I feel like. <clears throat> The conversation that we had long time ago, me and you, yeah, like long, long time ago. Holy <laughs> board. It's not called the, the problem. I think the problem is that they I see holy board. It's just letting the other party know that you know, should anything happen to me, I was at the hall. Should anything happen to me, I was at the post office. Like, mm -hmm. realistically speaking, friend, don't go battle like I. Me, my toxic trait was I don't gotta tell nobody nothing. I'm gonna do my own thing all day, every day. And like, why must I tell you? Unless you ask me, then I'll be like, oh no, I'm here and here. But, but I, that was me as a person, but I carried this into my relationships, you see? Mm -hmm. So now when someone is like, where are you? When are you coming back? I'm like, who are you? Are we mm -hmm. like why are you why you trying, are you my dad? Are you trying to control me? <laughs> you, you know, I dad? will tell you when I'm coming back. Uh, when when I leave, when I arrive, and that's it. So my rule was, I'll tell you when I get there, and I'll tell you when I leave. What happens in between is none of your business, right? Just to make you feel safe. But now I found I I felt like ra ra Like now I must be like dun dun dun. dun. I'm on my way to Victoria. Dun dun dun. dun. I'm on my. I'm still at Victoria. Flute for no me. guys. I felt like I had to make announcements. That was my toxic trait, and that was one of the problems that I had in one of my relationships, right? Like it was just, I was just like, I ain't gonna tell you where I'm going with who I'm going with. 
but now I've learned that it's just um, what's the word? Genuine. It's just courtesy, mm, common, common courtesy, courtesy. Mm. to let the other person know yes. that was my toxic trait. So now you've worked on it. Yes, I've worked on it. So now um, I see it as you know, no longer reporting, but telling you how my day is going. You know, mm -hmm. like like now I've I've, I've thought I've, I've I've thought about it as you know when you have that one person that you chat to every day, mm -hmm. then you know. I just let you know what's going on, you know, like it doesn't like my intention is not to be like I'm here But the fact that you were another the whole day. I happen to tell you that by the way mm. I was way way how how go kai kai. Yeah mm. Look but someone had to teach me that Who? Oh your ex. Yeah your last relationship. Yes. Uh, okay, I need to what's your toxic trait? trait? My toxic tr mm, second speak <laughs> Trait is what is it? Oh, I don't like apologizing. Hey, they like, oh, she hates. Sorry, I, I I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> You're like, what if you want to make me mad? Tell me sorry. Like, oh, God, I'm sorry. You actually just uh, you're aggravating me. Fire yammer. Hey, like, what are you sorry for? Like, I get it, you can be sorry, but like, what are you so like? And come, why are you sorry? Like, and your sorry has to make sense to me like your story has to match my standards and it has to make sense in my head and if your story doesn't like if you're sorry for if you have to be sorry for b and you are saying sorry for a i i, I can't take your sorry because your sorry doesn't make sense to me already the sorry is bad the sorry is bad like <laughs> just leave it already i don't i don't like sorry and then you're saying a bad sorry like oh i hate sorry and personally also i just i can't apologizing is not my strongest point because i just feel i'm that person who and this is literally still part of the toxic trait. I'm that person who feels like if I say something, I mean it. Mm -hmm. Like I mean it. Barry. Last year someone said to me, uh they think offense is not given, offense is taken. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that made a lot of sense <coughs> to me. Like it made a lot of sense to me because when I say something, I mean it, and I mean it exactly how I say and it. And the only the other person can only take offense from what you said, but you are just meaning. Yeah, it. I said what, what I said. said. You know, yeah. you might take offense maybe to how I said it or whatever, but literally I said what I said. I am a walking. I said what I said. So if you take offense to what I said, I'm just like. I'm not, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. That's the thing, though. No, but you know, I hate sorry because I'm not sorry that I said what I said. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry that you took it the way okay, that you took yes. it. All right, that's what exactly I'm not what, sorry for okay. what I said. That's what I was going to say. You must be just at least sorry for the way the other person felt about what you said. Yes. But you shouldn't be sorry that about, I said yeah, what I said. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That I can apologize for. Like I'm sorry that it hurt your feelings. Yes, but, but I mean it. <laughs> it's the truth. It is what it is, and it is. It's not going to change. You know. Next question. Do you swallow or do you spit? Yeah, do you swallow or spit? Are we is it asking what it's asking? Exactly what you think. <laughs> I do none of the above. So I you don't must partake think. in that activity. Exactly. That's why I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna answer this one. You take it all in, all the vitamins. <laughs> all of. I'm drinking. I'm saying. Then trust what she's saying. Banana flavor. <laughs> Stop it. I'm <clears throat> <Hey. laughs> <laughs> This is number maniac. Four, next one's the fourth one. Third for you. Mm. It's the third for me. But you know, Kofan did like I had like six gigabombs. Yeah, you and Debo never told me. Y'all never invited me to the six gigabombs that y'all had. What you mean? We asked and you said you're good. What you mean? What? Okay. Mm. Have you ever gone a whole day without wearing underwear? Yes. I have every day. Seen lockdown, guys. Hey, when I'm lockdown so started, bad. I don't know what underwear was. Guys, alcohol is the ghetto pills. 
in slow motion is this how it works when you've had a lot of alcohol for the first time <laughs> after that it's just normal <laughs> Just go on about your so you get the, the slow motion is normal yeah for the first time but as you drink and you get used to it it's just the normal mo you get normal motion but what we got so hey. what you're saying is that the slow motion gets normal like it's, yeah, it doesn't yeah, feel yeah. like slow motion anymore. yes 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 no no no, no. next topic. question which one did i ask you said something about top two pet peeves yeah top two pet peeves in men in what? Or whatever you date, whatever your yo in the dating preference mm, in children, the other gender. Oh, please, please, please have proper finger nails. I hear this a lot, waity. Oh my god! Oh my god! Not a moment a nigga does not have proper nails, and they are dirty with some stuff, mm. or he got long nails for some odd reason. It's a bad. It is a deal breaker for me, as petty as it is. If you don't have proper nails, I never knew you. <laughs> you don't exist. You don't exist. Hey. If your nails are not, you know what? I don't even care about fingers. Mm. Your nails, because your nails are my children's nails, and Ooh. I got very beautiful nails. Mm -hmm. No. If you got ugly nails as a guy, it's a pet peeve of mine. I can't do it. I can't even look past it. Like, cause the whole time. You know when someone's speaking, yeah. most of the time they use their hands. Yeah. I'll just be looking at your hands and be like, no. Like, no. Oh, it's so pity, but it's 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 a item. I can't. Okay, number two. Let me think about number two. Okay, my first one is. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> my pet peeve is someone who is not going to give me the freedom that I need. I need. Free I'm a Sagittarius, y'all. Freedom is number one like freedom is everything to me so a guy who's gonna try and lock me down and hold me down would be like i have to ask permission before i go to a b and c before i see a b and c before i do a b and c i can't deal with that shit like if you're gonna try and control me yeah i think maybe that's why i said that guy was controlling because mm. for me controlling is a red flag a the big thing one. is there's People who are sub there's ladies who are submissive naturally, mm -hmm. and then there's ladies who need you to be a man to submit silently to be like don't scream. I'm a man. I'm a man. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. You must yeah. like it must be in your genes. The, you don't the need to say I'm a man. You know, be a man. Show me. Yeah. So I think hundred percent. Hundred percent. Like yo, Lina. That guy, let me tell you, let's go back to that guy. And let me tell you guys what happened. My car was clean, clean, clean because I had gone to service the day before. And then I told him that, because where I parked, there was no, where he lives, visitors parking, I could not anything that covers the car. I'm like, look, my car is clean and it's going to get rained on because I can see it's about to rain. And then he said to me, Oh, la la, 50 rand. <laughs> I literally wanted to cry. He like when he said, oh, I'm like, wow. Wow. He's like, yeah, car wash. I'm like, first of all, taking a car to the car wash is not my portion. I don't do that shit. I don't. Definitely you know, you don't sign up for that. I did not. I don't believe in going to the car wash as a girl and sit there and wait for your car to get washed. How big car wash, you guys, is. A men's play field like hot let a ban go car wash. I'll never go to the car wash so, and be there and expose myself to men. No. So I'm like, it's not even about the 50 rand for me. It's about the fact that you as a man have to take my car to the car wash. It's not about the 50 rand. I can give you the 50 rand. But you must take that car there. So he only said oh, like 50 rand. I was just like, yo, this man's reasoning capacity is in the gutter, hey? <laughs> There's it's some in guys who are taught how, how to be men. Yeah, you know, no. there's some guys that just need to figure it out by themselves. They need to be taught. And I'm not here to teach a man to be a man. All I am here to submit to a man, and you need to give me something to submit to. You need to lead as a man for me to be able to submit to you because I'm not, I'm definitely the girl who does not submit easily. I don't see a need for it. Like, I'm very, I'm stubborn, Jen, right? So, you need to be a man. Like, let me tell you, girl. My man, he makes sure that I don't drive nowhere. You understand? You understand? 
because it's like when you get home there's things that you have to do so i can't be i can't be letting you drive all the way to places and then still expect you to do to do you know what i'm saying you so I got a oh, hi round of applause <laughs> hi Boss. if you're a guy watching this please hey, man, mm -hmm. take note there's manliness doesn't come from ways. saying it mm -hmm. like it doesn't you just genuinely have to be present that's true you don't have to say i'm a man we so know so my pet, oh, the first freedom. one is you need to give me my freedom mm -hmm. and not control me because mm -hmm. it's not gonna work. And then number two, I think is ish, number two is a fight be between respect, like being respectful and being well mannered. Okay. Like saying your please and thank yous. Because I went to a date with this guy and it took him a little bit longer to say thank you to the waiter. You know, and I was watching him. I was just looking at him like, so you're gonna say thank you to the waiter after he put out the shade like. Mm. Are you gonna say thank you? Like that's very important to me. Please and thank you is very very important. Comes naturally. Yeah, it's like it shouldn't be something you need to think about. But he he said it, but it just took him a little long to say thank you. You know. So have you ever seen that meme or that video? That's like when I'm at a restaurant and a waiter says, "Here's your food," and I'm like, "Thank you." He's like, "Okay, here's your drink." You're like, "Yeah, yeah, thank you." They're like, "Okay, do you need anything else?" No, thank you. That's how I am. Like you have to say your please and thank you, especially to waiters or anybody who's offering your service. Really, like I don't get people who don't do that. But oh my God, respect what's my second pet peeve, guys. A man who's just disrespectful, who doesn't regard. Like for instance, ne, we we'll, we'll okay, see so when we go to the mall, he will greet from the car. God, ki 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 bo to clean, yeah. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, na wabo dume isa. Hore, you know, when you mm. get to the toilet and the cleaner's no, there, you, you clean. You're not better than anyone. This thing about thing about life, life ki livili, ere ikliya jiga. It turns. So you never know where you will be tomorrow. So always be humble. So I feel like respect is very, very big. It doesn't matter where you are in life right now. You just you can't just look at the next person and be like, ah, that's a cleaner. I'm not gonna quit you. No, you quit always. So respect is very big for me because at the end of the day, when it comes to a man, and you decide to settle down with that man. That is the father of your children. You know, he like that is the foundation of your children. So you need to. So respect is I'm very big on respect. Woo! Very big. Those are my two pet peeves. I'm gonna drink my water. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what's my second pet peeve? Now my pet peeves are sounding very pretty. And I guess that's why they're called pet peeves. No, pretty peeves. Pretty peeves. Um okay, who doesn't think logically? Mm. Oh my god! Oh my god. And I said, didn't I say something about reasoning capacity? Yes, reasoning hey, capacity. Hey, hey, a man who can't reason. And if you don't have that, you know, reasoning okay. or common sense, sorry. Sorry. Like, let me give you an example. Ne? Let's say you're my boyfriend. Ne? And then you decide. <laughs> yeah, the question is, pet peeves in the yeah. man. Eh? Totally. Yeah, so let's say you're my boyfriend and you decide, okay, I'm going out with my niggas. You know, I'm going. Should I be saying that word on YouTube? Uh, so I'm going out with my guys. I'm gonna have fun. Okay, sharp. That's fine. You told me. Then we're another whole night too. No communication. Ah, uh, but nothing. Yeah. No, but he didn't tell me he's not coming home. Oh, okay. you see. So nah. Let me, this is a good. This is literally what happened in my life. Mm -hmm. So me, I called this nigga up at 8 p.m. and I'm like. So, are you are you coming? No, 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 no. I'm too drunk. <laughs> so, me and my my niggas will be going to sleep at my other friend's place, and then I'll see you tomorrow. And I'm this like, this sounds like you though. The Rhea I've is grown. the nigga. I'm, I've grown. <laughs> That's why it's no longer a weakness for me. You know, and and now I understand Rhea why people find it irritating. So like, and I'm like, okay. So this is on the let's say reference of someone trying to. Maybe him giving me the his word saying he's gonna see me and then 8 p.m. Hits he don't say nothing. Okay. I can see your statuses. You are posting you are happy mm. me I'm like, okay, so are you, are you what's happening? No, I'm going to sleep at my friend's place. I'll see you tomorrow and I'm like, so where's your reasoning? so the fact that you decided not to pick up your phone and and tell me oh, what's really happening changed. but then his reasoning was yeah but it was still early oh 
8 a.m. 8 p.m. is still early. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But which means when were you gonna call me? Mm -hmm. No, when it was time to actually go home. I'm like, okay. So you were gonna call me at 11, mm -hmm. knowing very well that you said you're gonna come see me. But you see that you are drunk and you are not, you realize it's at 8 that you are not coming to see me. And then you wanna tell me at 11. Like, no. Reasoning, guys. You know, maybe that was a, uh, it, was, it was a simple example, that one. But there's people who don't think logically, you know, there's, there's mm -hmm. lack of logical thinking. There's a bit of common sense is not common. It's not common. That is a pet peeve of mine. Oh, like a guy who can't think. I was told that maybe I want them to think according to how I think. Mm -hmm. But I learned that that was, no, that was bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> That is bullshit. big bullshit. At some point, big I thought I, maybe I'm expecting too much, but no, it's bullshit because no. there's log there's logical sense in what is happening. You know what I read the other day is that you need someone in your life who's going to love you the way you need to be loved. He's going to love you correctly. So I feel like he was just not loving you correctly because he wasn't no to his ex because this thought from the ex. <laughs> but he was just not loving you correctly because I mean he had a lot of love yeah, yeah. he, changed, he did, yeah I feel like it wasn't really wobble mm. as people we have a lot of love but it's not going in the way that it's supposed logical thinking guys oh here's a, should I give another example you can <laughs> like maybe his logic matches to somebody else Elsa's. but it doesn't match your Mine, logic right. which is fine that's okay so let me give you an example ne? So for instance, you buy me a gift, and then you wear it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't laugh, and you don't, and you wear it, right? And then two weeks later, you're like, "Listen, I bought you a gift. Oh we just happen to be not really the same size. You know how guy sizes are a little bit bigger mm. than two girls, but it actually fits. So this guy bought this." piece of clothing in my size but it fit him so he thought because my birthday is two weeks away let him wear it for the remaining two weeks so that when my birthday actually arrive he'll then just give it to me in a plastic bag and be like here's your birthday smelling of stay soft i'm like he washed it he washed it i'm like so you wore my gift <laughs> <laughs> you wore my gift because it was a unisex <laughs> gift, you're on that Let's say for example, sweatpants, you know, unisex gift. I'm like, hmm. no. This is this is this is the logical sense that I'm talking yeah. about. I'm like, if <sighs> no, you know that meme. <laughs> yeah, the, the black guy. Next. Yeah, the black guy. No, guys. Yeah. Lost. No, man. Logical sense. Yeah, and I thought I was asking for too much, but guys, no. <gasps> let me tell you, you're, you're never asked. Don't. Settle! Do not settle! Guys, ever in your no, life, don't think settle. You're asking for too much. You are you're not. not. You are not. not. There will be someone who is going to meet you. And they're much. going to understand you Come. to the T. Even if he doesn't understand you, but he will. Like, even if he doesn't understand you at that point in time, but he will be like, he okay, will. I hear you. Mm -hmm. And I will do better. Not a man who's going to be like, woo, you're doing the most, you're asking for too much. I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not at some you. point I was like, maybe I'm too ex. No, mm -hmm. you're no. not. And the, I feel like as women we go through that a lot. Mm -hmm. Where we're like, maybe I'm doing too much. Maybe, maybe I'm asking too much. You know, maybe let me calm down. No. no, no. The next question. Top two turn ons. Oh, in daughter May. Nugegamnadi. I feel like that is non-negotiable. Guys, it's non-negotiable. No. It is in Toda. In Toda. I no get come No matter how ugly you look. Oh! You know, just smell nice. Bye, Those looks tend to Ooh. change near, like, you know? Bow. Oh. Guys, smell nice. Oh, smell nice. Oh, you know why I'm feeling like this? I haven't eaten yet. <gasps> See, and I put grains on the table. And you didn't. Because, like, like, you know, you can't eat. It's not my thing. But into the minority, the minority, the minority. You're always that's number one. Number two, into the my bed clean. I keep to banana the dress. I keep to banana me loco. I keep to banana the fading. No, 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 no. Okay, maybe fade. I'll accept yan. 
but be clean, be clean. I na hembe, I na budu kwe. Police are the car. When you say dreads, no, no, guys. I'm sure no one will make me react. Act, no. I don't know about it. Can it do cool? Lily, too. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, be clean and for a guy i feel like it doesn't take a lot to be clean you just have to exactly. wear a nice clean top whether it's a golf shirt whether it's a hamper whether it's a skipper or what jeans that's that's clean. wipe your shoe wipe your soul it really doesn't take a lot of hair for men it really does not take that much no 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 and skin smells nice for men it really does not take that much no no and smell nice what was the question um turn ons turn ons smell good look clean that's it. I don't care what you're wearing. I don't care. Okay, I do care how you smell because you need to smell good. Yeah. But be clean and smell good. That's literally it. Mm -hmm. And if you can enter through these gates, mm -hmm. gates you have a be my, my talking stage. Yes. Okay. You have a chance. Yes. I said what? Smell good. Smell good. Smell good is number one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would even buy you perfume. Mm -hmm. But number two, hey? What turns me on? Oof. To be quite honest, me. Hmm. Like I said in the in the last example, in the, be, a man. be a man. Be a man. Like That's just it. Be a man. Just be a man and be smell a good. Man and smell good. That's Don't all. Yourself. You say, I'm the man. No, no, no. You're supposed to listen to me. The moment you start uttering the words, I'm the man, forget it. Yeah, I feel like Which the minute you say it, it means you have to not. prove it. You yes. know? Like, you have to say it because you can't prove it. But for me, I don't want words. Actions. Mm -hmm. Be a man. Like, don't tell me you're a man. I know. Just be it. Be it. Be a man. A man don't gotta conquer her. Yeah. You know, and say, I'm the man. No, no, no. Be the moment you say, I'm the man, you're losing credit. Literally. The minute you have to say it, uh -uh. you really like, you're losing points. Question. Ah, uh, we're not drinking anymore. I feel like <laughs> that we're too we're open. Done. <laughs> no time, guys. Yeah, actually. She done. Okay, I'm ending this video. Are we done done? Mm. We're done done. We can close out the video. Guys, let me Thanks. close it out. Oh, Bye. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, that was me and your girl. <laughs> Sip or spill. I don't know how many questions. I felt like there was five questions. Mm, it was a lot. Apparently it was a lot of questions, but that's fine. So I'd like to thank you on this experience that you guys came on with me with your girl K to the E to the D D I Ooh, mm. D I D I M E T S E E. But anyway, thank you so much for tuning into Giddy's channel. I think we dwelled into topics that we didn't need to dwell in too much. Yeah, like we went and, <laughs> and did the most, but. Comment, like, subscribe, and see you in the next video, y'all. Peace. Bye, guys.